Hello, team players of local football flavor. I need to give you a little disclosure here, something up front that I'm not exactly proud of here on the other side of week one. I was a huge Cam Akers believer entering into this season. I bought into all of it. He was hurt. He was in the playoffs. He came back, and they still forced him the ball, even though he was getting no yardage. He had to be McVay's boy. He had to be perfect. Well, I was doing some film study here in preparation of the strategies of football, and this play came across me. This play sums up why Cam Akers gave zero fantasy points in week one, why Cam Akers is basically not going to play anymore, and why he should be fantasy dead to you and to everyone. Okay, in this play, I want to cover Cam Akers, who's right here as number three, and what he does wrong in this play. Because while the Rams are doing some creative things with the motion, which will be coming from the right side of your screen, so you look at the play starting up front, the numbers are even. So you look right behind number nine in Stafford. He's under center. There are three players to the right of the line of scrimmage, and there are three blockers. What we'll see as this play goes on is we do have this motion coming in. Let's try to do a little slow motion for everyone here. As the motion's coming across... <clears throat> The linebacker, who's the weak side linebacker, juts to the left. He went from here to here, giving number advantage even more so to an offense that's going to run right here. The Rams are going to execute a beautiful double-team spin block off of this D-tackle, and the offensive tackle over here does the job approach appropriately of just getting the D-end out of the play. There's going to be a beautiful lane right up the middle here, and then let's just watch what Cam Akers does. There's your double team block right up the middle. Beautiful. So the action has, you can see the backside defenders confused. Why do we have one receiver running to the left and then Cooper Cup, who's the highlight reel of highlight reels, the number one action, cutting towards the running play? Th this shouldn't add up. It's a very well designed running play from an X's and O's standpoint. So at the moment of receiving the ball, we now have come off of the double team block and the center is now ready to engage a backside linebacker. We have Cooper Cup who's going to come through the hole and take out this backside player here, which should give you a beautiful seam right up the hash lines, literally drawn for perfection. But what does Cam Akers do? He's there. He's going up and no, I want to go outside. Literally, daylight for infinity. This guy is 20 yards away, and he would be the first contact point. But instead, he tries to cut it to the right, and boom. Two things happen here. First, the D tackle, or the D end rather, who was forced out of the play. The tackle did a very good job of forcing him out of the play. Now is in the play because Cam's running to the wrong spot. And this original D tackle who was getting double teamed and harassed the entire play just gets a gift of Cam Makers running right into him by making a mistake. So at the end of the day, that was just a disgusting play. And I wanted to highlight it to you because I was a Cam Makers guy. I wanted to see Cam Makers succeed more than anything. He was a keeper in one of my legs. And at the end of the day, this play right here is why he's not going to be a starting running back next week. So yeah, that wasn't awesome. But what is awesome is being a team player of local football flavor. Please leave us a comment, like, subscribe, and then apply to us to be a guest on the show. We love doing our big one-on-one -on -one interviews, finding out what really is going on with your team. We look forward to talking to you and seeing you in the next episode.